If you are watching this video, you probably know how far blockchain has come and what role it will play in the coming years. And you want to capitalize on it, for sure. However, despite the technological and economic advances, blockchain ecosystems are within a commercial paradigm where there is no human element. Let's take a look which project is trying hard to change the situation for the better. Today I'm going to talk about the fifth generation blockchain, Firechain. The goal of Firechain is to embed the for-profit paradigm deep into the logic of blockchain, thereby ensuring the sustainability of the agreed upon consensus mechanism. Only by embedding this change at the very root of blockchain, we can guarantee that the further development of the system will be based on this idea. With an innovative and diverse marketing strategy, entrepreneurial leadership and a capable team, FIRE is ready for a successful launch. I mean these guys, they've already generated a buzz around them and attracted 300,000 active subscribers. A team to save the world, well, <laughs> or a team to create a convenient, multi-chain, fast and secure crypto holder support mechanism. Hey guys, I'm talking about you. As I mentioned before, the main goal of Firechain is to create a user-centric and sustainable ecosystem. This is more relevant now than ever. In theory, every new generation of humans becomes smarter because of the mistakes of their ancestors. In reality, it doesn't always work like that. But the Firechain team created it with the bugs and security holes of other circuits in mind. The nominated proof-of-stake scheme allows Firechain to have strong security guarantees that other legacy blockchains don't have. There is one big problem that slows down multi-chain, multi-generation transactions. Nodes that were created before the new changes cannot remain in consensus with nodes that were created after them. To get rid of this work of changing the business logic of the chain on nodes, Firechain nodes are equipped with a WebAssembly execution node. Their function is to maintain network consensus at a very low level and with a well-tuned set of instructions. Firechain is capable of achieving high transaction throughput, allowing it to tolerate real-world use cases that require highly scalable promises on the chain. Older blockchains had no management procedures, which led to chain maximalism. Firechain's sophisticated and transparent governance mechanism allows everyone to democratically participate in the network and propose changes. Every blockchain focuses on the scalability aspect of creation. Fire solves the scalability problem by using different transaction pools. This helps to simultaneously process transactions through nested chains without having to worry about overlapping transactions, which increases transaction speed. To summarize, let me tell you guys about the various useful things that Fire has to make it easier and safer for us to use the system. For example, people can directly send or receive money on the blockchain through a local contact list created on the wallet. Robust security is a top priority for FIRE. The team makes sure that no malicious code is running on the nodes. Also, instead of user addresses, there will be ID names that you can use in all dApps, websites and for payments with decentralized, secure and full control as the user owns the domain. So I think I'm done for today, folks. Tell us about some revolutionary new platforms you've heard about. If you are interested in the development of FIRE, let me know. Write a comment, subscribe, like it. And I see you next time. Bye-bye.